wait till mommy and daddy can hear tomorrow. So they can see it too. What? You're so amazing. We're going to have a white Christmas. Everybody together as a family. I'm so excited. <laughs> it makes me feel bad for sure, though. My mom won't be there for Christmas. But at least she has a dad. She has him. Well done, Charlotte. Santa is going to find that stocking right away. I predict you're going to have loads of Christmas presents under the tree as well. Nice presents for you. Is it okay if she opens one tonight? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Would you like that? Yes, please. <laughs> hey, there's one on top that's just calling out your name. Go get it. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for reminding me. It's a lot better than tracking Lulu down after she kidnapped Charlotte, which of course I thought was going to happen. Lulu did not kidnap Charlotte, but she's going to sue for full custody. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, Valentine wouldn't let us have Charlotte for Christmas. It's my fault. I should never have told him that I was going to sue for full custody. You know, I'm trying not to worry about that too much. Your daughter will be with us soon. Sure, you're okay with us. I mean, Charlotte is as much a part of our family as Rocco is. Okay, we got two kids now, and they should be both home with us. I'm with you all the way. That is the best Christmas present you could ever give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bella, oh Rocco, oh what a nice surprise! <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> when you called earlier, I could tell something's. Wrong. You want to tell me what it is? Yeah. But it can wait. I mean, tonight's supposed to be a special night for you and your boys, right? And for you. But why for me? Well, just tell me whatever it is. Have it in mind. Just tell me, and then we can have that magical Christmas Eve I've been dreaming about. Just like that. Just like that. Uh, the other thing is, I don't think it's going to be such an enchanted Christmas. You hear what I finally have to say. There's only one way to find out. It's about Tom Baker. I already know. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> I'm sure we won't be as happy as we are tonight. Christina is with Sonny Carly and Michael celebrating the first Christmas without Morgan. I guess he can't call it celebrating him. They should. If anything, Morgan, that boy, he loved a good party. Yeah. Christina moved out. My mom was all alone. Hey. Hi. Let's go see her. Who was that on the phone just now? It's nobody important. Can I have the ice pack? What is it that you are doing for the sake of your children? What noble charity do you have up your sleeve for the sake of your children? All I can tell you is there's just some things you don't know. <laughs> I am a decorating genius. Huh. Yeah, I think you mean... We. Yeah, you know.
ABC's General Hospital. Brought to you by Progress. You know about Tom Baker? Yes. His parole officer called me right away. as a courtesy because I wrote his victim impact statements. Tom missed his appointment. He didn't call in? No. Nobody's heard from him. They can't find him. The parole officer just wants me to take extra precautions. Like what? Nothing drastic. Just have somebody walk me to my car and look in the back seat before I get in. Right. Reasonable measures. And it makes me especially glad that you're coming home with me tonight. And now you're going to have to spend the night. Oh, well, I have to. Huh? Isn't this something you wanted? Yes. Because I distinctly remember you complaining about it taking too long. I wasn't complaining. You know, it was like passive-aggressive hinting. Okay, well then what's the problem? Oh, my pleasure, and I'm sorry I'm late. Would have been here sooner, but got to talking with your grandmother. And you know, when Audrey and I start cruising down memory lane, it's hard to put on the brakes. <laughs> Franco, we need arts and crafts with Graham. Oh, who doesn't love arts and crafts? What'd you make? Well, his mom said you were coming home with us tonight. I made something for you. What are you going to make for your first design? Hey, I have a suggestion. Why don't you make um, a collar for Rudolph? And then we can leave it out for Santa to give to him. With red beads. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Until mom and daddy get here. It's from Valentine. He is inviting all of us, you included, mom, to spend Christmas Eve at Windermere. You just told him that you plan to sue him for full custody of Charlotte. He is going to have a plan. I, I kind of don't care. I, it's a chance to spend more time with my daughter. I want to go. Okay, here we go. Please come with us, mom. Uh. I have a hard time being in the same room with him. But don't you want to see Charlotte? Now that you know who she is? Grandma, yeah, what is it? Well, as if you're going to get your wish after all. Look. We're going to visit Charlotte? Mm, yes, only if you promise no snooping at Windermere. Yeah? Things I can't know. I'm violating my own restraining order. And now this? Please leave it alone. You know that I would never let any harm come to our children. Yes, your children are doing splendidly due to your exemplary life choices. Come on, Alexis, don't you think I regret all of that? If I had to do it all over again, believe me, I would never call that hit on Lavery. Then Anna would be off my back and Carlos... Carlos would still be a father to his son and I never would have lost you and the rest of my family. I need to know that whatever you're doing will not affect Sam. You better not. And as for whatever trouble you are in, I don't care. You, um, expecting someone? No, I am not expecting anyone. If my children find out that you're here, they will never forgive me. 
ABC's General Hospital, brought to you by Pro Mom was pretty clear about needing time to check with the Bar Association, so I was thinking we should. This is funny. Uh, yeah, you know, I just wish Curtis and I were a little further along in this case, but. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you mean for, further along? Like, you know, like a time for Christmas? Yeah, we'll give Sonny some more peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Hey, Danny, you ready to go? Mr. Clark, one, two, three. <laughs> I remember when Morgan was more excited about what was in his stocking than what was under the tree. Yeah. Well, you know, that was Morgan. What about this little girl? Hello, <laughs> let's go see your stocking. Do you know that this is your stocking right here? And that's where Santa puts all your presents. Can you say Santa? Santa. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to make this Christmas fun and special for our newest current dose, huh, baby? That's right. We're all together. We're going to have fun. Oh, and then Christina do an amazing job hanging up all of these stockings. Uh, excuse me, I also made some crucial adjustments to the Christmas tree. <laughs> Let's show Avery. Go, go, go. go. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is all Christmas. Merry Christmas, son. <laughs> Looks like it might actually be one. I've got presents for all of you stashed in the art therapy room. Let's go get them. So Tom Baker seems to have disappeared. What? He missed his check-in with his parole officer. Oh, I hope you're not going to be alone with the boys tonight. No. No, I'll be safe. Well, a lot of people would not equate safety with Franco. And I know you don't approve. Oh, approve is too strong a word. But he is excellent with his patients, and I've seen the way he is with your boys. <laughs> I think they see him as a large peer. <laughs> but most of all, I see how much you're affected by him. Uh, do you want me to trade these out for you? Uh, oh, absolutely not tonight. You are a guest. I'll put these in the kitchen. You get yourself a drink. Look at all those presents. Which one is yours? This one. Sorry for blindsiding you. Carly wouldn't take no for an answer. Well, uh, you know, it's Carly. Well, I mean, it's good, right? It's obvious she doesn't suspect anything. What wouldn't Carly suspect? Oh, um, your dad has a surprise for her. over there um, sharing some Christmas memories about Morgan with Michael and look what I found. Uh, Do you remember when you gave him this? Yeah, I gave it to him because I wanted him to be able to hear the ocean and tell you why. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> Hi, Avery. Oh, wow, well, is that Avery? She got to know you. You made it. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Christmas. Right back at you. Um, Sam, Jason, you know Nell, right? Hi. Would it have killed you to warn me that you ordered a Christmas tree? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the Christmas tree. I just know it's not ideal for you to have me here now. Ideal? You try living with someone that tried to kill you and then talk to me about how ideal it is. Anyway, since the tree is here, is there any way I could persuade you to decorate with me? What do you say we make a real Christmas out of this situation? Maybe even find a little joy. When we got married, I was I've never been happier. Me either. And I believe you changed for me, and I gobbled it up all those lies. Like this was a lie, Neil. I told you I loved you. I mean, I loved you then. I love you now. I'll always love you. 
cheers. I tell you I love you when you drink. I need something to help the lies go down. Now it's Christmas Eve. And first time in forever, it's just the two of us. And we do have some good memories. I think you're being nostalgic for different memories than the ones I'm reliving. Maybe I can change that. Because I'm thinking about last Christmas. It was almost a year ago today that I asked you to marry me. And you accepted. I'm so glad. ABC's General Hospital. Brought to you by Pro You and your charming Emma could make it. Oh, yeah. Nina! Um, excuse me, I'm being summoned. Well, got a moment alone. Is there something you wanted to discuss? Yes, actually. There is that story you, know, you told me about you having trouble learning Russian. And your teacher telling you not to give up. The literal translation being. Hold your tail as a weapon. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. Oh, yeah, that was my story. Well, I mean, I was the one that that happened to. Hmm. Well, that's weird, but we can't be the only two people who have trouble. I was in training at the WSP. Right? Whose motto you've tossed in my general direction several times. Apare occurs to us. So is that it? Is that where you know me from, the WSP? Excuse me, I'm going to go get that. Thank you for coming. Hello, Rocco. You remember me? I'm Charlotte's papa. Why don't you go in there, look under the tree. There's a Christmas present with your name on it. Go ahead, Papa. Where's Charlotte? Uh, in there. Go on ahead. I'm sure you and your mother are eager to see our daughter. So, Valentine, what's this all about? It's about Christmas. Family and stuff. Mm. Stay for Christmas tomorrow. All right, this present is for you, Avery. And Danny. I didn't know Nell was coming. The thing is, she keeps telling you I can trust her, but I, I don't know if I can. Do you know, what, you know what I'm saying? Jason. Yeah. Boy or a girl. I know Sam knows, and she will not tell me, which means I'm back to disapproving of you, by the way. It was a good run. You have to leave her now. Yeah, I'm going to get right on that. So Christmas Eve. Mom? Dad? Um, a special present for you guys uh, in honor of Christmas Eve. Oh, wow. Um, okay. to eat the carrots that he said for, uh, for the I think it was. Yeah. It was. <laughs> carrots. This is funny, kid. Okay, before we sink into the maudlin swamp over Morgan, um, Dad, why don't you uh, show Carly the surprise that you have for her? Thank you for coming. Got your present. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Go ahead, open it. <laughs> I think so much of you in her. That's amazing. You know, she knows my heart. Like it? Nina already gave me one. 
Uh, well, now you got two, right? That's good. Yeah, you can feed more feed stuff. Yeah. Mama, we both have one. Sorry, but there's some place I need to go. No, please, Mom, I, I, you haven't even met her. I didn't get to introduce you. Can we talk about that? Okay. Hey, Lulu. Listen, I understand why you're doing what you're doing, but honestly, I think you should rethink the idea of full custody. This is coming from a woman who literally stole a baby out of someone's womb. Thanks. Christmas. What you said earlier about helping you fight for Charlotte, I'm all in. Does your daddy ever talk about someone named Anna? I don't think so. Where's your advent calendar that Nina got you? It's upstairs in my room. Can I go look at it? Do you know the way? I know all about Windermere. I'm friends with the boy who used to live here. Hey, Charlotte, why don't we find the gift that we got for Rocco? Okay. Okay, so I had the WSB check their records when I was in training there, and there's no mention of uh, Valentin Castein or even Theo Hart. So it would appear that neither I nor my humble fisherman alter ego ever chained with a WSB. ABC's General Hospital, brought to you by Purple. Daddy got a gift for mom. My gift can wait, because I'd like to give Nell her present. Oh, no, 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 you really don't have to do that. Oh, come on. Not just for me. Jocelyn, help me pick it up. Go ahead and open it. Oh, it's lovely, yeah. The three hearts are supposed to be the three of us, because Jocelyn and I, well, we feel like that we're going to be connected to you forever. After what you did for her. I don't know what to say. Okay. Sonny. I'll take my gift. Uh, uh, well, I think Christina jumped the gun. You know, it's right here. Well, since Sonny can't leave the house, he asked me to shop for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. They are. It's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Yeah. Let you like. Anybody want a refill? You know what? I'll help you. So. You okay? Yeah, it's a tough night. Everybody's just trying to get through it the best they can. gift was from you to Corey, wasn't it? Yes. I'm not comfortable with lies on top of lies, you know what I'm saying? But I did it for you and Carly. And doesn't that prove that I'll never tell what happened between us? What's going on with those two? Good for one trip to the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Is it? You know, it doesn't have to be, Jake. You know, not not every kid likes abstract art. When can we go? Uh, the thing is, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to swing it now. So maybe you should make a plan to go with your mother. Why can't you take me? Well, I. Uh, I have to tell your mother something, and I don't think she's going to like it. Don't tell her. Well, no, Jake, that would be wrong. Tell her. No. It wouldn't be 
Christmas, would it, with a lie hanging between us? Isn't this whole cat and mouse game getting a little boring? Don't you think? If you're losing. Oh. Yeah, you're not going to tell me the truth. Why, well, she just going to let me keep digging? Is that it? It's fine. I mean, because I will eventually uncover what's going on. You do understand that, don't you? Do you understand that? Why are you so obsessed with the truth? What? I'm spies trained to traffic in lies. Oh, here, Moose. Oh, and I'll see you at home. Actually, they're going to send a police boat and pick me up. I think you guys should come with me. No, it's okay. Uh, uh, Anna's here. Okay, Valentina isn't going to do anything. It's just, I want to spend a little bit more time watching my hour, watching our children play. Not bad for a tree I didn't want. You know, I, um, I got something for you. Well, I made a few, actually, for us a while ago. I was going to give it to you for Christmas. Well, I hope you kept the receipt because I don't want it. You're probably right. I probably should have tossed it after the uh, divorce, but I, I just couldn't do it. Anyway, um, here it is. You can decide what to do with it. It's used by date. How did we ever end up here? At the risk of repeating myself. This wreckage. Hey, Danny, what do we say? We 
say? Thank you. <laughs> it's a big present. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Just a few weeks ago, it was going to be impossible for you to even show up here. Yep. Hey, you just sleep. Okay. Um, guys, can we all gather around the table for a minute? Hold hands. Why? I'd like to honor your brother. family since we lost Morgan. I should be near Christina. No, I'm good right here. Carly and I have some mending to do. <laughs> Michael, I just want to thank you. You have been so thoughtful in giving us these memories of Morgan. You have so much to grieve right now. And instead, you chose to comfort your family. Thank you. General Hospital. Brought to you by Pro. All right, Elizabeth. Hello. Hello. Hello, Danny. Merry Christmas, Grandma. Thank you. Um, Jason. Sam. Uh, can I ask a favor? Mm -hmm. I know how you feel. But for Elizabeth's sake, just let it go for tonight. Just for tonight. Yeah, sure, it's Christmas. Fine. Oh, thank you. Now, okay, all you guys, come with me. Come on, we're going to go and have a little talk about Christmas. <laughs> somebody tells us about the night Jesus was born or recites the night before Christmas. One year even, someone told us about a Christmas monster. Did I hear you say Krampus? That's right, Krampus. But this year, this year I'd like us to consider what Christmas is really about. Sure, it's all about the toys and the treats and the presents, even if we've been naughty. Has any one of you ever found a piece of coal in your stocking? No. no. I didn't think so. Because even if you're naughty, even if, if you've hurt somebody or somebody has hurt you, Christmas gives us the grace to forgive, to open our hearts, no matter how difficult it is, to hope for a brighter tomorrow, even if there has been some recent darkness. It's our pleasure. This doesn't change anything. Tomorrow is the last Christmas I will wake up without my daughter. I remember you wanted it this way. To accept that bad things happen. That people can be cruel and that there are bullies and there are devils. But there are angels, too. Not the tea can scrum it on you now. Go have a fake home. Thank you, Nina. You made this a wonderful Christmas. Well, thank you and your papa for making this the best Christmas I've ever had. Oh. Yeah. I have a new Christmas present for you. Oh, you do? Well, I'm not going to be giving you yours until your mom and dad get here. You know that, don't you, right? <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, but this is a bonus gift. Oh. 
Sometimes the angels don't even seem to know what they're doing at all. I know we're all remembering Morgan. <laughs> Her sweet boy who loved Christmas and hated when I took too many pictures just like his dad. But angels are never predictable. But now we have these memories of Morgan wrapped up in our love for him. I know he's returning that love with his amazing smile. And somehow, somewhere, he knows that we will never stop loving him. Sometimes it might seem like the angels are losing. But they're not, as long as we believe. I know Morgan is here with us. Right? I mean, he's in the Christmas lights, and he's in the glow of the candles. And, I mean, he's laying the way for Santa and the angels <laughs> to find us and to give us strength and faith to wake up in the morning and realize that we still have each other. And we still have our hope. And we still have our love. But more than all the presents and the toys and video games that we get, Christmas is really about letting in that special grace, finding that goodness in each other and ourselves and giving joy and really trying to make this a better world. So Merry Christmas. Okay, I'm sorry to drag you away like that, but I really, I want to tell you something before we try. Hey, what is it? I did something. I did something to Tom Baker. Talk to you. Tom. Wait, why? Why? Tom Baker was found dead. Her homicide. Someone stabbed him to death. Where are you? In there? I was so close to letting go, Alexis. Our whole life together played out. In my head. But I wanted to hold on to hope that we could find this happiness again together. I'm alive because of you, Alexis. You are my breath. You are my heartbeat. Alexis, you are my life. There you are. I see you. I see you. I know you and Nell were lying to me tonight, and I know why. What's there to be so sad about on Christmas Eve? Hello, stranger. And now I think you need to hear a certain truth from me. Just tell me, did you kill Tom Baker? going to find that stocking right away. I predict you're going to have loads of Christmas presents out of the tree as well. Nice presents for you. Is it okay if she opens one tonight? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Would you like that? Yes, please. <laughs> hey, there's one on top that's just calling out your name. Go get it. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for reminding me. It's a lot better than tracking Lulu down after she kidnapped Charlotte, which of course I thought was going to happen. Lulu did not kidnap Charlotte, but she's going to sue for full custody. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, Valentine wouldn't let us have Charlotte. 